advanced hydrogen messing with rodent coils I have here set up a uh, little interesting little scenario I've got uh, dual rodents and I've got some of my modules I'm using on my hydrogen experiments right now and I've created a quad pole field um, inside where the rodents are okay and what happened is, is I've since I've done this is I've created uh, like an active field um, that the rodents have and uh, so anyways I'll show you something here I put my magnetic field meter in front of it just sitting there idling you could see that in, in milligauss about one milligauss okay but what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my neo magnets here right? dual in 45 and what I'm going to do is focus in on my meter I'm just going to take the magnets in the back like I did on my video last night and just run around the rodent on the back side here watch what happens when I do that see how the see what it's doing all the way to five okay now I'm gonna do it on the sides to show that it is the um, rodents making that milligauss jump up and down so here I am moving it I'm not I won't it won't hit five it won't spike well if it does I'll be surprised I'm gonna move it all the way around moving it moving it okay there you go now I'll go back to the back in the back I'll do it again see that one hit six all I'm doing is this just running around in a circle around the rodent also uh, the rodent will flip the magnet see it look at this so there's a definite field happening there so it's floating off my finger you see it Out sideways like that so I pull back it'll flatten out and I go into it look what it does that nuts okay uh, I made a video a couple videos last night uh, showing the discovery I had of a uh, self-resonating uh, rodents and you see here's the connection I got right here I even taped over the ends well, we're gonna go way over here to my meter okay Get my light out of the way here and as you can see look at my meter if you can look at it I see uh, it's kinda hard to tell but uh, there's a field see it okay I'm about four feet away from this thing. As a matter of fact, I'm even going to turn this um, setup I have sideways, okay, like that, so that it won't affect my meter at all, okay? I'm going to take my Neo and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do is I'm going to the front and um, so that's flipping it. And I'm going to just take this mag Neo magnet and I'm just going to twist it around on the front. That's all I'm going to do. So let's, I got my Gauss meter and I'm moving the magnet and you can see it's not really affecting the Gauss meter over here but I don't know if you can see that look at the look at the the meter isn't that nuts I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna do it again there it goes okay so I'm telling you guys if you put a magnetic field around these rodents you're gonna find out some weird stuff and I found some other weird things but I'm not gonna post it on YouTube yet because I discovered a weird um, effect that these things do that I'm gonna go ahead and use in a product <laughs> anyways um, as I discover more interesting things about these rodents and these starship coils I'll let you know but uh, right now I have a very interesting field that I've created with these and I'm playing with right now I do have electronics that I've built for this to run it it's back here um, see it's in here uh, when I get all this hooked up um, we'll see what happens